Hello people, uh, a quick look at some of the dimensions of the jet drive if you're going to be fitting it into a hull. Uh, the inlet hull, okay we're looking about 118 milli. Yeah. Uh, width wise I think we've got it at 36. Uh, and the outlet hole, we've got that down at about 32, 31.5. Okay, uh, overall height, we're at 50, 49, but you can actually take a little bit off that just off the top if you need to squeeze it in a smaller hole. Take a few milli off that. Uh, okay, there's a four milli prop shaft. Yeah, very naughty. Uh, what else do we need to know? Turn my piece of paper over. Yeah, if you're going to be putting the into a hole, the jet drive. Uh, once it's fitted, you're going to have to drill four holes. Uh, you don't do that before because things might not be square and you need to look at it at the end once everything's fitted just to get as much uh, square to the, the job and there's, there's four holes that need doing and I use a, a two milli drill yeah sometimes put well I always put a little bit of tape on it so I don't go deep uh, and that goes in <coughs> once it's fitted in the boat uh, six milli we don't really want to blast through the other side if you do you can put a bit of shoe goo on it but with the thickness of the hull as well, with 6mm you get to about there, everything's lovely. Self tapping screws, you want to put them in by hand, uh, slowly, and you know, don't rush them in. Uh, okay, okay, some of the features that the jet drive's got, which others don't have, we've got a ceramic thrust bearing, as I say, which takes all the load off the motor bearing and lets them get on with their job, and this will take care of the rest. Uh, also there's a little integrated water nipple that we've got on there for the cooling system which uh, saves all the drilling and sticking pipes on and stuff. So that's about it really, apart from it's uh, a lot of fun. Uh, righty, there's a little bit of tape which we put over the, what's it, as a secondary defence against water incursion. I'll just get a bit of scotch tape. I use scotch tape by the way, 3M. That stuff. Doesn't leave any residue and it's great for hatch tape as well. What I do, even though we've got these fully waterproofed uh, ESCs now from Turnergy which are fantastic, it's always nice to keep the boat as dry as possible. So if we just put a little, put it there along this landing edge and up the sides there usually a bit easier because it's in the boat for me uh, and then down to the bottom and just clean it off there as you can see any water that comes up the stuffing tube generally accumulates in here and then once you've had your run and your fun you can turn it over and everything drops out you may get a few dribbles which come up the through the bearings but if you put some grease in there you can reduce that even more you want a super bone dryer or a little rubber gasket at the back but it's, that, it's negligible what gets in the boat which is great fun well thank you very much for your time chaps as you see we're all going to have a little bit of fun it's been raining so I should get out and have some fun but I've got to get these jet drives posted off to people very shortly cheers for your time have a great night to Luke.